common nouns actually depict general names and as in name uh, denotes is actually common to a number of things or a number of people that's what a common noun is now let's look at a few examples of uh, the common noun we'll take lawyer Tom. Bucket. House. And so on and so forth. As mentioned earlier, other things such as, uh, for example, uh, happiness, which is an abstract noun, can come under common noun because it's not proper. So once it's not proper, it's actually. Uh, a common noun, but we won't consider it here because we have another classification for it. So we must understand this. Now let us see the difference clearly between the proper noun and the common noun. When now let's take this as a proper noun. I will take this as a common noun. Now I said term is a common noun. However, if we take uh, worry for example, worry is a term, but it's, it's, it's proper because it's a specific place. Term is not, it can be any term, so it's common to a number. I mean, this term, if I'm talking about worry, I mean, this term, if I'm talking about uh, ORE, all of these are terms. So, it, the word term becomes common, but proper is not. That is what you want to note. Olu is a proper noun, but boy is not. Olu may be a boy. So the word boy is common to a number of people, but Olu is not. It's a specific person. Even though we have a number of Olus, then uh, it's specific to those people. So it is proper noun. We can go on and on. We can talk about Everest. And then here we can have mountain but take note that if we compare this for example mountain everest then of course our m will become capital m this were discussed under capitalization so but only as mountain it will be common everest is proper it's a proper noun everest or mountain everest or mount everest whichever that is used will be proper noun but if you use just the word mountain it will uh, be uh, common I've also seen students confusing this university, for example. The university. This is going to be common now. Except you now begin to make it proper. For example, we can now have University of Lagos, for example. University of Lagos. Under this, university will be proper now. And so it will begin with you. But just the word university is common, it's not proper. So we must know the line between the common noun and a proper noun. We will also discuss something like, uh, if you say, uh, anti, it will be, but if you say, for example, anti, that is a common noun, anti, but if you say, for example, anti J, anti J, then this is proper. Will the ant become a title for J? That's the point. But the other one is common. Although sometimes those titles can stand alone and still be proper, depending on the weight attached to them. For example, mother. Most children use the word mother for their parents. They don't call them by name for their mothers. So the mother assumes the status of a name, and by that, it can be the first letter can be capitalized. As a proper noun so we need to know this distinction so these are the common nouns for examples of common nouns they depict general names we have lawyer we have term we have bucket we have house we have other ones like boy mountain university auntie and so on and so forth